Hey there, Von Tom 2020 here with 2020 MC Gaming, and uh, we are back on Frilly's Patreon server, Frillcraft, to do some more work on the cathedral. And uh, we've got a couple of new players. There's uh, Kraken on running around in the background there. Oh, he just disappeared. There he is. And uh, today, what we're going to work on is the uh, seawall. There we go. Well, see, so we got to do a little bit of work on the seawall here. Connect it up to the land all the way down and around this side here. And unfortunately, uh, we started this off already, and I did my math wrong. Uh, so over here on, um, on this side, I built the wall underneath in the wrong place. So kind of got to play around with it a little bit. Anyway. So, first thing we need to do is go fill up some shulkers with a lot of stone and sandstone and some other little bits and pieces so that we can start uh, uh, filling this in and flushing it out. So, let's move in that direction. Okay, we're back, having uh, filled up our inventory with various uh, bits and pieces that we're going to need. Uh, garden's looking pretty good here, too. It's... um. It's been a minute since we've been on the server. We've actually been goofing off in uh, 114 and uh, learning a little bit about the new dynamics, playing around with trading halls, things like that. It's it's been a lot of fun, but uh, we have missed being here. So it's uh, uh, we've been looking forward to uh, getting back in here and finishing some of these builds. So might as well just. Uh, Rosebine, uh, Rosebin is on today. We haven't seen her in a little while, and uh, oh, I got I got some work I've got to do over here on this side, street lamps and such. But she always sleeps for us, everybody on the server, <laughs> basically. So I think I might try to skip bedtime and just roll with it. Oh, second thought, I'm feeling a little bit exposed here. That's an awful lot of spawnable area over there. I think I'll just get in bed real quick. And already the mobs are shooting at me. Where is he? There he is. Okay, whatever, Holmes. Okay, so I got a little bit of work done here, but I decided to go ahead and push through the night, and then uh, mobs started spawning everywhere, so... Now it's going to be a little bit dangerous, but let me uh, try to show you what I've done. Eh, there you go. You can kind of see it. Got the wall built up there and got a sand berm built up against it, so it looks a little bit more natural. Now all i got to do is go in there and throw down some um, sugar cane and uh, maybe a couple of lily pads, I don't know, and try to make it look a bit more natural. I don't want to have to fill the whole thing in, uh, less because of the amount of work that would be involved it, I just don't want to destroy that piece of water right there. It looks, well, it looked natural. Now it's starting to look a little bit forced. But anyway, we'll see what we can do. Meanwhile, I've got to go ahead and finish the wall extending up here. This river right here will be a little bit more natural looking than that little bit right there. So I think I can make this work pretty good. But uh, yeah, I might have to put a little bit of thought in that zone right there. Maybe if that creeper goes ahead and uh, despawns, I can go in there with a little bit of sugar cane and give it some uh, greenery, you know? And I might have to lower this a little bit so I can make the wall look like an actual wall. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, that creeper's still there. I got zombies on the other side. All right, so. Yeah, I got, got a cure for what ails you, creeper. All right, so a little bit of sugar cane. Right. Oh, no. There. Right there and there. Right there and right. Whoops. 
<sighs> quit doing that. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I got some bone meal somewhere. That looks a little better. It looks a little bit more natural. And how about that? Yeah, looks a little better. A little bone meal to get some seagrass growing down there and it'll look um, plenty natural, I think. All right, now let's see if we can finish this part right here. All right, so here we are on top of the, uh, yeah, I think this is the melon farm, melon pumpkin farm. Okay, so here we are on top of the pumpkin melon farm and it's morning again in our fair city. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a flyby. I got my rockets turned way down. I was getting tired of the, getting stabbed in the ear hole with that sound. I right, say, so here we go. Here's a little flyby. I put down some uh, cacti and some sugar cane to help out a little bit. And it sure does. Oh, yeah, I was going to get bone meal. Let's get bone meal real quick. I was about to forget about that. Ow. Beds aren't supposed to hurt. <laughs> yeah, you can tell you're late in the game when you just got diamonds laying around in random places. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to put down some bone meal underwater over here and bring some color to the... Uh, just like that. There we go. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, hey, much better. Okay, let's do it the other side now too. Apparently, when you have big changes in Y value, you can't exactly just throw it on the bone meal and expect it to do everything. You gotta change Y values. I wasn't getting the uh, blocks down at the bottom when I was doing it uh, somewhere near the, uh, the middle top there. Okay, so let's take another look from the air and see what we got. Yeah. It's actually starting to look like a complete build. Now, right here, we're going to have to do something. Uh, someone stole a bunch of sand. It wasn't me. I've been stealing my sand from the desert over there. <laughs> and so, here we are on this side, and we are going to start the wall right here. We're going to do the wall right here. So, let me go ahead and get my equipment set up. All right, so now we're on the uh, northern side. Let's say east, west, north. Okay, we're on the southern side. And uh, this is what we got so far. Now we have to build up the sandstone blocks, uh, touching that dirt block going down behind these and start uh, uh, finishing it off. And then comes the difficult part, uh, seascaping. And, of course, I built this wall in the wrong place, too. Uh, <laughs> to uh, start over on the side. And uh, that was about an hour worth of work that had to be redone. But it wasn't so bad. Anyway, what we got to do is fill in back there with uh, regular sandstone blocks. We got that right here. I believe we got some stairs. We'll need them. And a lot of sand. And uh, here's some more sandstone. That's cool. Okay, so 
just in case I don't think we got enough stairs on us we'll just go ahead and there you go all right so out here I'll, I'll talk to you about uh, the plans while I'm doing this part here so out there in the ocean I'm planning on doing a little bit of uh, seascaping and that is going to include a coral reef I'm very excited about that. So the coral reef, um, you may remember a couple of episodes, we bought a couple of shulkers worth of coral from uh, Lily May. And so uh, I was trying to come up with a, a good name for it. And, you know, I, it just, I was going to ask everybody, I was going to ask why. And then, like earlier today, suddenly I thought, hey, we'll just call it Bumble's Bay, right? <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. Anyway. We're going to do a coral reef. When we get to the end of this wall, I will show you about where it's going to be, and uh, we'll start figuring out how we're going to do it. Yeah, i got to get that piece back. I'm going to be using a lot, a lot of sandstone finishing this off. So the coral reef, we're going to build it up in this area right here, all over this, all over this, and it's unfortunate that this area dips down so far, but I guess we could uh, do some down here too. We'll have to, whoa, thanks Dolphin, but I was trying to do something. I was thinking that um, we don't want it to be too far away from the surface, but uh, yeah, that is kind of a dark, ugly nothingness down there. Our coral reef might actually look pretty good on it. Anyway, we'll figure it out, but... kind of liking the idea of uh, having some lights down there in the water or something colorful to look at and of course when we build the wall in the back the sea wall in the back and the uh, finish this off we're gonna have uh, sand berms sloping off down into the ocean right here and make it look like uh, sand washed up against the seawall from the ocean currents I think it sounds like I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. I think it sounds kind of fun. Uh, probably going to be a huge amount of work. Okay, now I've gone and locked myself in. Okay. There we go. Getting there. All right, let's see what we can uh, finish up. I'll bring you back in a second. Sun's going down, too. Okay, we are back again, and this time... The wall's done. We were able to get the wall to wrap all the way around. And I can't fly anymore. Trying this again. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to get out to sea a little bit, and then I'm going to fly back towards the cathedral, and we'll take a look at it. There you go. we got a little bit of beach sticking out right there. looks really good. And we've got a maintenance entrance right there. But the seawall goes basically all the way around the building now. And it uh, looks like I've only got a little bit left to do right down here. I've got to put the footers in. And then, at the beginning of... Uh, in our next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the coral reef and I'm going to build the beach wall up against the lower part of the sea wall, the part that's underwater. Build a nice little berm sticking up right there. Kind of like this. Kind of like this. It's going to take a minute, but it's going to be, uh, it's going to be worth it because it's going to look so good. So, with that, I'd like to thank you for stopping by. We really appreciate it, and if you haven't already, please uh, like and subscribe, and with that, thank you very much, and have a great day.